Hello guys, Glitcher One Gaming here, and um, they want to make a video on a card changer because, well, obviously people are having issues with uh, with having to get it work in the new version of the game. And when I made my last video on this, like the cut cards and everything, people wanted to see a mod video, and it had a tons of views. So I thought I'd make a little tutorial on how to do this. So what you're gonna wanna do is first, first thing first, you're gonna make sure you have your most wanted 2012 open. And you just wanna park your car anywhere. It doesn't matter. Keep it like as long as as it's at a stop. So and now what you're gonna do is in the description you're going to find a link to to a file in Mega. So you're going to paste it in. And as you can see that there will be something called most wanted 2012 car changer dot zip. And with this you're just gonna click download. And it's gonna save it. <coughs> so um so now, that you, now that you have the file downloaded, what you're gonna do is it's gonna hover over this, if you have WinRAR, you're just gonna right click on it and do extract here. Or if you're on uh, Microsoft Explorer, you're just gonna do with, it's gonna do extract all. So I'm using WinRAR. So all that I have to do is I just gotta right click on it and extract here. Once that is done extracting, you can delete the zip and you just have the folder. So once you open this, you'll find three things. You have the cardi.txt, you have the ct file, and you have cheat engine. So make sure that you have, again, your most one is open. I hope it is. And then, what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna go here, and you're gonna go in this cheat engine folder, and you're going to run something called cheat engine, right here. I have file extensions open at the very top, so file name extension is open for me, so that's why there's an exe. So you're just going to run it, and there it is, it should pop up. Now if it asks if you want to do a tutorial, say no, and that's it. So now what you have to do is you need to go in here, and you need to find your most wanted process. So it should be nfs13.exe, just click open, and then you click this little folder icon, and then you go to wherever you extracted it and just load up the CT okay so now you're going to open up that one text file and open that up that one text file and you'll see that you have a whole list of cars that you can spawn in these are all cop cars best 500 bucks you've ever spent, Crown Vic. So, um, I'm just gonna go here, and here is your current car ID. So it is this. Okay, so, uh, you're just gonna take one of these. Doesn't matter. So let's say I want this the Slim Jim, because yum. And you're just gonna copy this, and you're gonna right click on it, and then do change record, and then do value. Move this and paste in the value, and just click OK, and it should pop up. All that you have to do is drive, and you need to crash out your car. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right on this van right here, and it's gonna look like magic as if it's edited, but it's just gonna appear into this. So, and I'll fix it up. You just have to drive through one of these to the gas station, and that's it. Now this works with every other car that's in this list. Cop cars don't work in multiplayer, but uh, let's say one, I want the, the Ford Explorer. Just right click, change record, value, and then paste. And now, now all they have to do is they just have to go straight. Gotta crash out your car. Boom, you're in. Now to activate the sirens and cop cars, you just have to press your horn button. 
go on a PC keyboard. Um, not wait, no, I okay. So the horn button on a PC keyboard is W, at least on my key bindings. But on a controller for my bindings, the horn button, the horn button is B. So you gotta press B once, and you have this siren, and then you can press B again to go to the next siren. Next mode, and now we can go to the next mode, and then you have off. And this every single this car has like a different uh, siren tone, so it'll sound different. That's really it. You can just use all the IDs in there. And you can actually take the IDs of other cars in the game. In the game. So like if you want Hennessy, you can just, if you have a DLC, you can just get the ID of it. And then whenever you want, you can just paste it in there. And then get it wherever you want. And with this, I think if you, if you have another car which has a lot of upgrades, or Wait, why is the police chasing your police car? Anyways, so basically, if you have another car that has like max upgrades or upgrades that you want to have on another car, just take the car that has the upgrades that you want, and then you just take another car and you change into it using the ID. Here, it's it's kind of difficult to explain, so I'm just gonna go into this BAC mono. And I'm gonna try it on myself. So, wait for this to load. See if you have the car ID should have changed. But if I go into, let's say, customize car, and let's go to. Apparently, this literally doesn't have anything. We might have some on the Koenigsegg. I literally do not have anything on this. Again, I'm pretty sure I have stuff on this because I remember when you do the first race, you get a burn nitrous and you get off road tires. So, we should have stuff on this. Uh, yes, we do. We have off road. So, let's say I want off road tires and I want some burn nitrous. What I have to do now is not have the mods that I want. So, that would be off-road and burn nitrous. What I'll do is I'll just go to the cheat engine. I'll just copy the ID that I wanted to go to. So that's like I want the SWAT van with, with those. I have to copy this. Change record, value, and boop, and boop, and that's it. Now I just have to go crash your car. And just go boom. And that's really it. And now, oh, <laughs> this thing is huge. Anyway, so it's had different sirens. So if you go into customize car, look, off road and burn nitrous carried over. This works for every other car if you get if you manage to get the ID for them. So you can literally get upgrades on any car. You just gotta max out one car and you're pretty much set. That's really it for today's tutorial. I might make another one showing you how to get the cut cars because most people are popular and interested about that. So I was thinking I could release some of these, some more of these, and I hope you all have a great day. Boo.